What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Eat with Patrick Blackwood, and this is what we have here today, y'all. We got some cereal. It is called Epical. We got some milk here, and I swear, this peanut butter chocolate—oh my god—is an addiction. Okay, an addiction. And I got me some bloody orange. I, mean, I got so many things I want to talk to you today about, and. You guys can't miss this, this eating show. You guys stick around, grab you something to eat. Let's go ahead and chop it up and we talk about it and everything. And you gotta let me know if I'm wrong or right. I just need to know your opinion. You feel me? Just let me know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You feel me? So we about to get this show on the road. Amen. I'm hoping you guys have an amazing day. Um, I had a great day so far. I had a nice little workout. Did upper body. You know, get the kinks off. Get my shoulder right. If you don't see, there's a bruise right here. You see that? It's a nice little sexy bruise. Right on the tattoos, he did. That's my war wounds. That's what we call it. Oh. Let me go ahead and eat this real quick. Let me go ahead and taste this thing. This actually is a granola, chocolate granola cereal, which is amazing. I had this in my training camp and I was like, yo, if you own, I'm gonna put you on game. This right here. Mm. Ladies and gents, this is love making. Mm, mm, mm. 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 All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. No, I can just do this all day. But, hold on, let me eat my cereal first because I don't like it soggy. If you like soggy cereal, raise your hand in the comment section. <laughs> I don't like soggy cereal. I don't like it. So if my, so my cereal soggy, mm-mm. Nope, I can't do it. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it has these nuts. Okay, you got some nuts in there, some oats. Stop playing with me. I need you in my stomach. I need you in my stomach. Give me energy. All this deliciousness, all this positivity in my stomach and give me energy to be great, to be phenomenal. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is actually so exhilarating. Tasting something literally that is, I love chocolate. Chocolate cereal is everything. I swear. Mm.
I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just being greedy. <laughs> I'm just enjoying this meal. The most important meal of the day. And you know what it is. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I went ham. Okay. Now, let me carry on. <sighs> you guys know I'm an athlete, right? And this happened a very long time ago in my life. The time period of me wasn't being too confident in myself. And um, I, I had a great friend of mine. I had a great friend of mine. He was better than me in football. We played the same position. And I never got mad. I was a, I'm a huge competitor. So anytime I feel like somebody's better than me, I want to train with them. You get what I mean? Um, for example, if somebody's good at art or somebody's good at Better yet, for example, I'm gonna use this analogy. My ex, she's been doing YouTube about 15 years, right? I'm fresh new in the, the YouTube thing. And um, obviously she's gonna be better than me the way how she shoot her content, the way how she edit her content and everything else. I used to be the one that be I used to be that one to do this. Soak up, be like a little girl, and 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 want and then get everything that you wanted. You know what I'm saying? So my analogy, this is back then. Now over the years that I've grown up and I'm mature and I understand what's going on in my life, you're not gonna be great about everything. That's just point blank, right? Mm. I'm sorry, I give y'all that look. <laughs> this is so good, but boy, this thing is so cold. You feel me? Like it's tremendously, like I just got out of the fridge and I swear, I had to like warm the, the orange, the butt orange up because the fridge was like, I guess it's like to the highest point of the cold temperature in my fridge. So that's the reason why I give y'all that look. Don't mind me, but carry on to the story. Um, I had a good friend, like I said, he played the same position as me and he was better than me. Um, I never felt that type of way I feel like if anybody's better than me, I want to train with them. And I feel like anytime I train with somebody, I, I close the gap. You get what I mean? Even though he's moving the ladder, I'm chasing that ladder. So you can always catch up. Either you catch up or you always behind them or you pass them. It, that's, what's, that's just how the beauty of life is. You get what I mean? So, and this is my boy, Elliot. We, we've been friends for a very long time. He's been a, a great competitor. He's been, uh, that's been my training partner over four or five years of my time. You get what I mean? We train with the same running back coach. Uh, we have the same experience. Obviously, he played in a higher division one than I did. So obviously there was more, you see more pro advantage than I did, okay? So it's good to have some type of insight regardless of all, all, my, all my guy friends are athletes that play in the NFL, CFL, XFL, USFL, and I, I, I'm always around them, you get what I mean? So I, I can gain, gain that knowledge and had that experience, train with them, and you know, like I said, push that ladder because that's the only way you will get better. Now, <clears throat> I 
uh, this happened a long time ago. So I was doing a training camp for a lead in the United States. And uh, I did really well, did really well. The coach was a fawn to this one guy and they've been, he'd been coaching this one guy for a very long time, right? This is me. I've been working my be my tail off all my life. All my life. I put the work in. I trained the guys that I needed to train with. I trained with my running back coach. I'm not going to settle for less. When I'm coming to a competition, I'm going to find the best defensive player and I'm going to put it on my back to show up, show up and show out, period. You get what I mean? I don't care about anybody feelings. I, I'm, I'm a competitor. You get what I mean? I'm a competitor. I'm a predator and a competitor and a king in my own jungle. So when you go and line up with the best and you on the same position that I am, just know I'm coming to take anybody position. I don't give a damn who you are. You know what I mean? So I don't like the fact that I'm balling offensive line, like talking to me and I'm, I'm, I'm taking some leadership role and I'm vocalizing everything and I'm doing everything I can to make the person be better. I'm showing them drills that I've done that makes me better so you can be better. But you feel some type of way that, and this man, he runs better than me. He runs harder than me. He's more patient. He's, everybody like him. He, he's charismatic. He's just being him. You get what I mean? Like, you can't stop that. You can't stop that type of energy. That energy right there, that's what you bring every time when you in love with something that you love to do. You get what I mean? It's kind of like this. It took some time for me to get used to doing stuff on YouTube, getting used to being on camera and all that stuff. But I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm being authentic of myself. And that's the only way you can do it. Because if you can't be yourself while you're doing it, obviously you guys will see it. You're going to see the flawness. You're going to see like, damn, okay, he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Excuse my language. But that's just how it is. It takes time. It takes patience. And it's, it takes practice. So back to the story. So I'm hanging out with my teammates. I'm doing everything I can. I'm calling people out. We're doing inside drills. I'm calling out the best players. I'm calling out the best players because I'm letting you know I'm here. I'm here now. I've been training for this about 16 years. I'm just looking through my old videos. And I just remember what all my running back coach tell me like, yo, in life and football, we all gonna make mistakes. But the better man that make mistakes and learn from them was always going to be the better man. You got to know how to fall in your face and fail and accept that a man's better than you. You get what I mean? So, I'm going to carry on with the story again. Like I said, I dominated. The running back fell some type of way. He talked to the head coach in that league and he had a problem with me. He knew I was superior to him talent-wise. The teammates, he couldn't get the same energy from his teammates like I did. Hey, that's just what it is. I set the tone. I command the room. That's just what I do. 
It's something, this is what I'm trying to say. When you passionate bit, when you passionate, when you passionate about something, I'm so sorry that I stuttered, but when you passionate about something, that's when you know you're creating love and you're putting time in, and that's a lot of energy that you're immune out to the universe on the Pacific sport, Pacific things that you like to do, all right? And um, <clears throat> the next day, do you know the coach had a nurse to change me to a defensive player? And I never played defense my whole entire life. That just showed you that was a problem for me. Don't you want to know that when you're competing for a position or you're competing for a job and you're doing better, a person doing better than you, it's supposed to up your game. Again, like I said, Elliot was better than me. <clears throat> I trained with him. Darius Victor was better than me. I trained with him. G Giovanni Bernard. I trained with him. He's in the NFL. He played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Melvin Gordon. I trained with him. He got a Super Bowl for the Kansas City Chiefs. You, the list go. Jonathan Taylor. Trained with him. He's in the NFL in the, in the Indiana Colts. You, the list goes on. You get what I mean? This is what my running back coach do. He trained NFL players. So for this coach to come out and tell me, okay, you're going to play defense. I had a problem with that. I I had a problem with that because I never played defense in my whole entire life since high school. You're going to change somebody that I've been playing running back for a higher level for 12, 15 years to play defense? So, I had a problem with it. Hmm. I had a problem with it. I did. So, when training camp was over, I talked to him. And he was like, defense going like, well, well, we need you on this side of the ball. I'm like, we gonna need you 60, 70%. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be mediocre. I'm not gonna put mediocre on the field. They don't understand that my time and my patience and the training that I've done, what made you think I'm gonna be putting garbageness on the field? And I never step on the field as a defensive player. Think about that. You gonna put a hot say for instance, you're gonna put a hockey player to play basketball. Think about that. I said nah man, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Why should I? Why should I? I don't give a damn. I didn't train for that. I came here to play ball. You you brought me here because he's damaged goods. Sorry to say. You can't stay healthy. You needed another running back. But you, you were so caught up that the person that you signed He's all that in a box of good and can get the team going. That's not true. That's not true. That's not my fault. You should know who you signed for. Period. <laughs> Period. You feel me? So, it ain't hurt me. So, talk to the defensive coordinator. And I told him, like, nah, man, I ain't doing that. It ain't happening. I am an offensive player. I'm a running back, and I'm sticking towards that, and I don't give a damn. He didn't outplay me. I don't give a damn. So I talked to the head coach. I said, hey, 
good afternoon. You know, I, I play politics. I'm not going to be like, man, it, it bump this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to have that moment. They call that a, a black moment. I'm not going to have that. So I, 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 I made it civil. And I said to myself, hey, good afternoon, coach. I hope everything's well. Um, can we have a discussion? And ask me, what is my role? That's the best way to say it. What is my role? Right? So we had a nice little conversation. And he's talking about, well, the team didn't like this. The team didn't like that. The team telling you, you're late. But you have me doing three things. I'm playing special teams. I'm playing offense. Now I'm playing defense. Right? I'm trying to learn defensive plays. And then after that, I had to learn the offensive plays. And I was like, you know what? I told him like this, coach, no disrespect. You have safeties, right? He said, yeah. So why the safeties can't play the position that you need? They cover, they can tackle, right? Yeah. I mean, that's a no brainer. That's, let's fill the box. I just solved your problem for you. I'm not a coach. I'm a player. Players play. Coach is coach. You get what I mean? So, I mean, I put two cents to two. You feel me? Like, it is what it is. I'm a running back. You don't put a running back at defense. You don't put your experience better running back on defense. You're not going to do it. And you're not going to play me as a sucker and have me looking like a fool. Ain't going to happen. I told him like that. Ain't going to happen, bro. You, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my carries and I'm gonna be out. I don't give a damn. I'm not even trying to be here that long. Period. I have a I got a I got a goal to me. I gotta finish my story. You feel me? So I told him like this, coach. I'm gonna do I'm gonna play offense. He said, like, Well, I need you. I'm like, ah, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. And he's like, okay, you got to have your teammates to trust you. That have nothing to do with me. My teammates got to trust me because you guys needed me. Y'all needed me. I came to every teammate. I talked to him. I smiled. I even asked them, yo, let's go at the practice. Let's go ahead and put some work. Put the work let's put some work together. Nah, man, I, I don't want to put no work together. I asked five guys. Five guys said, no, nah, man, I ain't want to put no work together. Wednesdays was the best day for me. This and that, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, I'm only quarterback too, man. This and that. Oh, I guess you don't want to be better. That's just me. I'm a competitor, bro. I don't give a damn if you from two, three, or you're the practice squad, bro. If I'm asking you, oh, let's go get better and let's get put, be better together, that's your problem. I did as much more. I already did enough to try to build a relationship with my teammates. Now, he's telling me, well... And this is what I lost it, y'all. I literally lost it. I, I lost it. Coach got a nurse to tell me, I'm just telling you this like a friend. No, I don't, and this is my mind. No, don't be my friend. Be a coach. The, the running back that we have for a long time, he don't like being challenged. What? Then what sport do you know he's playing sports, right? Do he know that every man's gonna be better than you? That's just in that's in reality. There's gonna be always gonna be a handsome dude. 
is going to be a handsome dude better than looking than you. He's going to have a better body than you. He's going to have a better smile than you. He's going to be confident than you. That's just what life is, bruh. But the fact that the coach sit here trying to hold this man's hand, I lost respect for him. I lost respect. I lost respect. I'm a competitor. There's so many times. Me and Elliot did showcases together. We we played together. And he started before me. He was better than me. I I admit that he was better than me. There's Victor was better than me. But I'm gonna tell you this. You can ask all of them. Did I work hard to get where I need to go? There's got to be a time. I worked my tail off. I knew he was better than me. But don't, I don't like the fact that he told me this guy don't like to be challenged. Then why you brought me here for, bro? Why you brought me here for? You told me he's injury prone. Well, you didn't expect me to be this good. You didn't expect me to own up and be a leader and be vocal. This is what you expect me to do. I've been here before. I've been here before. That's what I, this is what I do. This is what I love to do. I show up and I show out. I don't give a damn how good he is. If he's good, then beat me out, bro. Simple as that. Don't hold his man hand. This is what we are. We're players. The players are supposed to make players better. End of the day. The same thing in life. If a man's better than you, you learn from the man. And then you learn from him, then you go ahead and you make it your own crap. That's how you, that's just how it is in life. As a man, you own up to your shit and be a better man. Accountability. I'm shit, I'm learning my damn integrity. I'm just being real with you. I'm learning that because I had to step up and to be a leader, I had to have that integrity. I have to. I have to. And that's the reason why, because people have to believe what I'm selling to them and that that the training that I put out for them, it has to work. They have to believe it. That's the reason why I have to have integrity with my shit, because my coach put me on here to do that. All the training that he put me through is that's this is the reason why I'm here. All the lessons that I've been here, Destin McCluster, working out with him, that's the reason why I'm here. So you can't tell me this man going to be better than me because he want to hold his hand and babysit him and rock him to sleep. Nah, man. Players play, coaches coach. Don't move me. You put me right back in that position and make him be a man to beat me out. Simple as that. Anyway, guys, I'm done talking enough. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Share, like, and comment, and save. Until next time, y'all, love.